What's, What's up, up Terabytes? I am Tara with Tara Simon Studios. And I'm Jeremy here at Tara Simon Studios. And today we are going to be doing a tutorial about how to sing in your falsetto. And me and Jeremy, we, we don't necessarily completely see eye to eye on this subject. Mm -hmm. We're going to be honest about it, but yeah. he is coming from a male perspective and I think that's really important and valuable because, well, I'm not one. And so... <laughs> <laughs> That's first and foremost. <laughs> and so, um, and I want to offer both sides, and you guys can comment in the box below and see what you think. But um, falsetto, why don't why don't you say first, Jeremy, what you, what you think falsetto is, what the definition is to you, and and what it feels like to you? Okay, so for me, um, a falsetto is is a is a place where I can or a register that I'm placing my notes, and it is almost it's like the, in essence what the word is. It's a false touching of my vocal folds or my vocal folds are not touching completely. And so there's a lot of air passing through it, um, but they're not touching completely. Now, a lot of times, and this is where we, we kind of are <laughs> different, yeah, is that a lot of times um, you hear arguments of, as to whether um, head voice and falsetto are the same thing. Yeah, synonyms. Yeah, and so, so a lot of people think they are, and a lot of people think they are not. <laughs> <laughs> And so this is where, in, in essence, where women and men are different because some people believe that guys have a falsetto and women have a head voice. And then others believe that guys have a head voice and a falsetto and women have a head voice, no falsetto, and sometimes a whistle tone yeah. or whistle register. So Right, right, right. Exactly. So um, what we're going to do today is demonstrate what what is falsetto, what does falsetto sound like, and why there are certain times when Jeremy sings in his falsetto where I think he's singing in his mask or his head voice because of where the resonance is placed. But I am not in Jeremy's body and I can't say where he's feeling it and how he's feeling it. And, you know, there has been, um, there, ha there has been a lot of definitions where that, that not, that false touching is uh, verbalized. And so I can't, I can't deny that or discount that. So it's really kind of, for me, up for debate. I have my theories on it, but he, <laughs> he's such a brat. <laughs> he, he is the one that feels it. I'm just the one that hears it. So he feels it and hears it. I just, I just hear it. So um, I'm going to tell you what I think, but he's also going to tell you what he thinks, hears, and feels. And you guys can decide for yourself in the comments box. And I'm sure males that are watching this have a 100% um, opinion also on, <laughs> on the matter as well. And you're more than welcome to speak up. So Jeremy, give us an example of what falsetto, like a true blue falsetto sounds like to you. Mm -hmm. and, and I will say this, that Jeremy has a really beautiful, strong falsetto. He's been working on it a long time and he's been classically trained. But if you can also mimic what maybe, if you can mimic what a weak one would sound like, okay. I think that'd be really helpful for our watchers too. Okay. okay. So let's say, that's a, a good strong falsetto. So that's C5 for mm -hmm. you guys who need to So know. that's what. So I can take it up there. And so what I'm doing is because I've used it so much, I'm, I'm making sure I support it just as much as I would my mixed voice or my chest voice. So that's how I'm getting that, that fuller sounding falsetto. Um, a weaker sounding falsetto, for, it's going to be kind of tricky to, to demonstrate. It's, it's hard because you can do the right one to right. do it wrong. It, that's the worst part of these tutorials. Right. <laughs> I'm going to do it wrong. <laughs> yeah, right. But it's going to sound a little bit more breathy, you know, and um, less supported. Let me see if I can do that C5. Oh, I hear it. It's, like trying yeah. to connect and mm -hmm. connecting and then disconnecting. Mm -hmm. Oh, do that one more time. That was interesting. It's that kind of, um, it's right on that break. Yeah. Like fluty, mm -hmm. bird like y, mm -hmm. yeah, goosey. Yes. Honk. Oh, see, that's a little bit of shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, okay, um, so you're saying that that doesn't feel like head voice to you. Mm -mm, no. Okay, so you feel like almost like something's not quite connecting. Mm -hmm. All right, so mm -hmm. you guys out there that are males that are doing falsetto, do you agree? Do you feel the same? Comment in the box below. Now, Try though mm -hmm. to sing something. It doesn't have to be that same note, but try to sing on what you know I would define as a mask okay. or a head voice placement. Okay. Um, like mm -hmm. super forward, like oh, like super forward nasal placement, not okay. that airy, fluty, throaty sound. Okay. See if you can do it. Okay. Give me that G. G. Mm. Oh. Well, that was 
really gorgeous, but uh, not what I asked for. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. that, was uh, that, that was really beautiful, though. That was actually a really well placed. Look at the space that he had in his mouth, guys. Yeah. That was a really, really well placed chest mix right there. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about like a head voice, but that's remember like remember when I was like oh that yeah. kind of forward instead of oh but oh like forward and yeah. out any kind of note that you want. Ah, ah, ah. It's still, it's still there. Mm -hmm. I think he's just lying. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like I've heard you do it in lessons way more at maths here than that. You're just making me look bad. Um, I can't right now. I'm just saying. No. Come on, try it again. Ooh, like a big <clears throat> opera singer. Ooh. Yes, yes. Okay, it's where'd you? Falsetto. I don't believe you. <laughs> it's my falsetto. You don't feel it in your nose. Mm -hmm. You're just being difficult mm -hmm. right now. Cause I mix, I'm mixing in that. I've made it that I know how to make my falsetto really forward. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that that feels to you the same as the first good example of falsetto that you gave. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I give up. I mean, <laughs> to me, guys, it sounds like like it's forward, and where I feel that is in my nose. But again, I'm a girl, he's a boy, so I'm gonna mm -hmm. defer to you on that for a male. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something, I really still feel like there are many instances where falsetto and head voice are synonyms, and mm -hmm. there's a lot of confusion there. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I have to tell you, I'm not in your body, and mm -hmm. so if you're saying to me that you do feel that like connectivity difference, mm -hmm. then there has to be uh, a line of demarcation between what's defined as head voice for a male and what's defined as falsetto for a male. Mm -hmm. And maybe it will help you guys if you switch your mentality from thinking head voice forward placement to that back, fuller, more rounded placement in the mm -hmm. back of your throat. Because that's kind of where you're saying you feel it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like not here, but more back here. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, I feel it in that mask when, I, when I'm going to my mix. That's where I feel that mask is right there. Well, it's weird because I feel it. My mix is a, a mixture yes. of that between that and then the more the higher I go, I kind of incorporate a little bit more nasality to it just to keep it. So then it goes starts mm -hmm. to go forward. Yeah. Okay, that's really helpful. So how would you tell people that are watching this, guys or girls, but mostly guys, because I really still think that if anybody else also knows guys, not girls. Anyway, how would you tell our viewers how to work on this falsetto? What would you tell them? <clears throat> um. Well. To kind of access your falsetto, um, think of sirens, lots of sirens, just yeah, taking it um, from the bottom up, and then once you feel more comfortable, just doing higher sounds. Ooh, 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 ooh. And then think of like a hooty owl sound, too. Oh, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Doing lots of those. And then once you feel that space and that feel that that um, point where it's not so breathy anymore, really kind of slide up and down and see how how um, high or low your range is within your falsetto as well. Okay, so really starting small in the range area, mm -hmm. being gentle with yourself, not judgmental about the fact that it's probably gonna be really breathy at first. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's kind of like lifting that weight where you know the repetition and the weight makes that part of the vocal muscle stronger. Mm -hmm. And as Absolutely. that gets stronger, then you can get into bigger range, more meat mm -hmm. potatoes of the, of mm -hmm. the falsetto um, part of your register. Mm -hmm. is that, is that Absolutely. Okay. And then also too, there, when you're working in your falsetto, <clears throat> different vowels work better for different people. Oh, okay, um, that's a really good point actually. Yeah. And so I've had a lot of um, students that uh, do really well on an ah vowel when they're going through their falsetto. Interesting. Some do well on an e vowel. Mm -hmm. Some would do well on, um, on a oo vowel. But I always suggest starting with a oo because it, it just gives you that that open space and really yes. um, that really helps you out and then start to um, work what vowel works better for you. I Interesting. Yeah. See, that's that's really cool that he said that because for me as a female, I like to work on my head voice in E's or O's. Mm. E -O. I, I like that the most mm -hmm. instead of oohs. I find oohs to be very closed off. So it's yeah. interesting that you say everybody's different. So that's why exercising and, and working with a coach is so important because there are certain exercises that, yeah. are, that lock into you mm -hmm. and certain vowels that you prefer. And that's there's nothing bad about that. It's just like 
oh, I look better in pink, it's my color, or, you know, I'm yeah. a black dress girl, or whatever, yeah. um, there are parts of your vocal production that prefer certain vowels or certain exercises over the other, and you only know that if you try it. Right. So, <laughs> the debate continues. Falsetto or head voice, what do you think? Do you think falsetto is a thing? Do you think it's a synonym for head voice? Let us know in the comments box below. We're going to go duke it out a little right. bit more after this is over. <laughs> I got you. I got you. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you click the subscribe button, hit the notifications button, and the like button as well. There's all sorts of goodies for you in the description box. Check out those links. Thank you so much for joining me, Coach Jeremy. Appreciate you and all of your pearls of wisdom that you always offer. <laughs> no problem at all. Yes, and we'll see you on the next one, Terabytes. Bye. See you later.